Hey guys, today we're gonna to show you how to safely tie down your skis and snowboards to your roof rack. If your car looks anything like this, we're gonna to try to help you by the end of this video find a solution to get your skis out of the back of your vehicle and up onto your roof rack. We get a lot of questions from people asking how to tie down your skis and snowboards to the bare roof of your vehicle or to a bare roof rack of your vehicle. And the answer is, there's not a safe way to tie down your skis or snowboards to either of them. We recommend using a ski and snowboard carrier or a roof mounted cargo box. Our most popular option is going to be the ski and snowboard carrier because of its simple design. Now here we have a three ski or two snowboard carrier, but there's much larger sizes um, on our website. And then you just close the jaws and then it safely secures your skis from traveling side to side or front to back. The pros and cons of using a ski and snowboard carrier is gonna be that the pros will be that you are gonna be able to get your skis and snowboards to your destination without having them on the inside of your vehicle, but you're also not gonna have much to store when you're not using the rack or when you're not going skiing. You're gonna be able to take these off storm in your garage, your condo, or your apartment and not have to worry about uh, limited space. The con is that your skis and snowboards are going to be visible and out in the elements. A quick note, when carrying skis on a ski and snowboard carrier, you want to be sure to have the tips pointed towards the rear to optimize your aerodynamics. Now with our other option, your roof mounted cargo box, it's going to kind of have a dual purpose. You are going to be able to get your skis out of your vehicle, but you're also going to be able to haul luggage while you're skiing or during the off season when you plan to go on those family vacations. There's one of two ways you can travel with your skis in your roof mounted cargo box. You can either just set them in there like we have here, or you can run a strap around them to keep them in place. It's really up to you um, and the value of your skis, the value of your box, whatever it may be. But this having the strap on here will help to keep the vibrations of the skis on the bottom of the box down to a minimum. If you have other luggage up in the box with the skis, we found that it does help to dampen that a little bit. And with the top of the box pushing on the top of the bags, it'll hold them down into place. Now the pros and cons of a rooftop cargo box is that the pros are gonna be that your skis and snowboards are gonna be out of the elements and inside the box. They're also gonna be safe and secure because there's gonna be a lock on the box most likely. Um, the cons are gonna be that now you have to find a place during the off season to store this box when you're not using it. Something you may not think about is that you're going to lose a little bit of clearance. So if you're often parking in parking garages or trying to fit inside your garage at home, um, you may have issues with that with loading a rooftop cargo box on top of your car. And there is gonna be one final con to both the ski and snowboard carrier and the roof mounted cargo box. And that's gonna be wind noise. If you have other roof mounted accessories, you probably already know that, but anytime you add anything to your roof, you are gonna have a little bit of wind noise added, which just sounds like a slight whistle. Um, and it's not something you can really get around when talking about the ski and snowboard carrier or the cargo box. Well guys, hopefully this information helped you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.